this is Socks Proxy. He was named Socks because his back feet look like he has white socks on him. And I wanted to be nerdy, so he got Socks Proxy. Good boy. Hey guys, welcome back to Home Lab Tech Support. Today, I just wanted to talk about the uh, remnants of a server closet and IT closet, one and the same, of an old bank. Um, I, I, this is a new client of mine and we've been taking over some of the IT here. Um, all the accounts, all the numbers that you guys are seeing, I'm not worried about blurring out because they're all defunct at this point. There are no POTS lines that feed, but, um, this is an active IT rack for the building, uh, that Hodge does go out to the rest of the building. Um, they have VoIP phones that are going throughout right now, an old Cisco ASA that we're working on replacing, uh, Eagle Eye DVR, uh, sorry, that's an NVR, and a Star to Star for their phone service right now, although we're going to be swapping that out soon. Um, but behind us, I'm going to see if I can zoom out, and phone, come on, let me zoom. Oh, it's not going to let me. <gasps> Stupid phone. Okay, whatever. Um... We have two giant AC units and, of course, two for redundancy. So these units were independently fed with their own AC control units uh, with also cool water piping. Um, not an AC tech, so I can't really tell you much about it um, other than big old, big old AC units. Then the existing fire panel that's over here, but they also had a coax patch panel. This is because a lot of the rooms had TVs and before they were on ethernet, they were doing uh, BNC and token ring. This building is really old. Um, so that was one of the patch panels that they used as a primary. Uh, their new, uh, well, their current alarm system is currently on cellular, but you can see all the cable routes that used to go along this back wall. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with this, if you see all of the screw holes that are going down, that's just termination racks of phones and connectivity that was going throughout this building. Um, if this is any indication of how many phone lines that they had, it's just, it was bananas. Anyways, I just wanted to share, uh, oh right, the, the other thing I wanted to show you is their, their old fiber optic system. I don't know much about this system in particular. All I know is that by looking inside of here, I to, see two LC um, duplex fiber connections. And this was Verizon. Verizon is no longer in the state of Florida. So um, this has been here for quite some time, although that merger wasn't too long ago. But that connects down through this power unit and battery pack down here. Um, those fiber optic lines go through a tiny conduit into here. This then goes all the way up and back down and into the pipe in the floor that takes it outside to another demarcation point. Um, but on the back of that, there's a, there's a breakout card here for uh, these two fiber cards. And then there's also two uh, cards up here that I'm not sure what they do. Um, I'll go and Google it and, and see if I can put it in the description for you. Um, but there's a couple of RJ45 uh, breakouts. I'm not sure if this is Ethernet or what that actually converted into. It could be uh, T1 connections for all I know. But uh, we also see a bunch of BNC connections in here as well. It says DS3 out and DS3 in. So I'm assuming that's token ring. Again, I, token ring dates me. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, and that looks like that might be a management port of some sort. All of the power uh, input down here. Uh, usually on systems like this, you're going to have hardwire powering like this instead of just a IEC cable. Although newer equipment, it just takes in an IEC um, although some demarcation technology um, like this has uh, direct power wiring like that because that way you can get into different and multiple power sources because you don't want this unit going down. This is uh, a unit that holds multiple cards, so multiple inputs, multiple output sources. Um, it's not a matrix by any point, but um, you just don't want this primary source of connection going down for anything. So that's just kind of a, a quick walkthrough. Oh yeah, and then they just have these freaking um, twist lock outlets all over the wall. Still, whatever. Um, I suppose I can talk a little bit more about the switch stack. Um, again, I came into this, I'm, I'm just taking this over. They have four 24-port uh, Cisco SG300 PoE switches. Um, looks like one's spare or just one's not used anymore. Focus, you fuck. There we go. But um, yeah, I mean, the, all the top three of them are full. And then this one down here, which isn't responding to my CDP packets. 
or CDP requests, and I'm just getting CDP from the switch attached to it, which is quite interesting. But they're probably moving out of this building soon anyways. Anyways, um, yeah, they're just, you know, a couple of VLANs, nothing crazy. Cisco ASA is just handing off the, the uh, DHCP and the, the routing for um, all the networks and just sending it out the, the singular Comcast connection. But that's about it. This is really an impromptu video. Um, so sorry about the stuttering and any possible misinformation. I was like, you know what? This would be kind of cool to uh, to show you guys. So. Yeah. Um, actually, the only one thing I want to point out before I end this, uh, this is a telephone demarcation point. Uh, if you're not familiar or haven't seen them, all this is just a giant... Oh, I should point the camera. This is just a giant cable, a trunk cable of phone lines coming in. It looks like there's up to 100 phone lines, uh, 100 phone pairs that are individually coming in here um, through these trunk connections and down into these 110 punch blocks. Um, again, not a telephone guy. Sorry if I'm using some of the wrong terminology. Um, but each of these carries uh, 25 pairs down into these uh, blocks over here. And if you follow these um, trunk cables, looks like this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, if you're not familiar with these, these are actually surge. Uh, sorry, this is just a jumper. The blue one with the S on it uh, are surge protectors for the incoming lines. Phone, what is your deal, yo? Can we just not? Focus, focus lock, unfocus lock. Okay, there we go. Uh, these guys are actual surge protectors um oh dude keep it in the frame bro uh for the incoming lines so you have if i if i remember this correctly you have your two pins for the incoming your two pins for the outgoing and then your ground line um to help protect the uh, cpe the customer uh, on-prem equipment but yeah this is uh that's just a telephone block if you haven't worked in a closet you'll uh you'll definitely see them when you start doing this all right, I'm going to end this video before I say anything too stupid much more. Um, English is hard. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I just need to kill this. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, my name is Ryan. This is Home Lab Tech Support. Don't hate on me too much for the really crappy impromptu video. And I will be at you guys later.